everybody, it's Alice K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Recklehouse. And today I get to open up a fun, fun, fun thing that came from Michelle Gregory. She had cleaned out her office and from just a little bit that you can see of my desk, obviously I need to clean out my craft room too. I'm sorry, craft room, not office. Um, my office is also part of my craft room. So anyway, as she was cleaning out, she set aside things to give away and she put together two boxes and drew two random names and I was one of them, which is so fun and exciting. You know, junk journalers just love getting each other's junk because <laughs> it just gives us a more, more of a variety of junk. <laughs> so um, let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna open it and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it up here. I'll probably put it down on my lap um, so that you can see things better because I think right now it's probably too close, but let's open this up and see what we've got inside there. I don't know if she put a note in or not. I'm opening it up upside down. So, um, cause I didn't want to show her address and I want to keep her address so I can write to her. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to go from the bottom up. So yeah, let's put this, oh, you know what? I'm going to put it on top of my trash can. It's big enough to do that. Okay. <clears throat> oh, let's see. It's all in a big bag. And yes, there is a note on top. Okay, so I think I'm going to keep the box here on the trash can, though, so I can put stuff into it. Oh, my word, it looks like there's some very cool things. This is not junk junk. Okay, so here's a note from her. Um, I'll look at it. I think I'll look at it later. Because um, I don't know if she's written anything personal or not. We are kind of sort of friends. I mean, I love her. I really, really love her. But we have never met, is what I'm saying. Um, oh, she said, Dear Alice K, I was so happy when your name came up as a winner. I'm glad I can send something to you a second time. She had sent me some fabrics and stuff soon after my husband died. Um, but please feel free to pass things along. I'm also glad my extra stuff is going to someone who appreciates it and not to a landfill. Yes, that's what junk journaling is all about. Thank you so much, Michelle. This is so fun. I hope someday we can meet because I really do feel like we're friends. Um, okay, so, and that's a cool card too. I'll probably cut that front off to use in a joke journal and she probably knew that when she included it. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness, there is all kinds of fun stuff. You know what? I drove by several garage sales today looking for lace and here we have some. So this is beautiful paper. Wow, that's very cool. And, oh my gosh. This is shiny fabric. It's, it's beautiful. It's very pretty. I use this color a lot because I use kind of, I tend to go towards Tuscan type colors. Um, although I'm trying to branch out and use some other colors too. Oh, it looks like I've got a lemon journal in my future. I actually was thinking of doing a citrus journal, so that's cool. And that's pretty. I like that. Let me see how it looks with this. Oh yeah, that would be very nice together. I'm kind of sorting these in the boxes. I put them down. That's pretty. That would go with those fabrics too. This is enough for at least one cover, probably more than that. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Okay. So this was a napkin. That's really pretty. I love it. This is totally my style of flowers. These are the kind of flowers that I like to draw. And so I'm really drawn to them when I see them places. That looks nice with the um, citrus stuff, by the way. Oh, that is pretty. Wow, look at this. Okay, then this one too, there's enough for at least one cover, maybe more than that. I love doilies, I love doilies. See, and this is what's so great. You guys don't throw away doilies when they get stains on them and stuff. She probably got this like at a yard sale or something or a thrift store and it had some stains on it. The rest of this, I mean, you can cut it up and use it in your junk journals and it's so pretty. And this is so cool because it's this green color, which is definitely a Tuscan type of green. That's beautiful. I love these roses. I have hand crocheted a doily like this. One doily. <laughs> it took me forever. <laughs> I'm glad that's not going to a landfill. Oh, yikes. <gasps> oh, I want to do a peacock junk journal. And here we go. These could be either peacock feathers or they could be um, artichokes or they could be pine cones they would go with any of those or just more of like a art nouveau type of thing beautiful oh Michelle thank you thank you thank you this is so fun this is 
I, I really thought I was just gonna get like scraps of paper <laughs> and I would have been grateful for that that would have been fun this is really cool I'm not sure what it was maybe it like hung over a chair or something I'm not sure but um, it will be awesome in a junk journal you can cut up so you can cut up these squares or you could cut it into even smaller pieces there's a lot that you could do with this very fun very 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 fun Ooh, I like this crochet between the oh man oh I see fabric flips I see a cover oh my goodness this is beautiful I see little like um, belly bands there's a lot you can do with this too guys okay that was just like the first bit that I pulled out it may take a while to get through all this oh fun okay this will definitely go in my Christmas box for I've got journals that I've been working on for a couple years in there <laughs> that I haven't finished in time for Christmas so they just get put aside for the next year oh look at this she stitched around this that's really cute and a little notepad those are really good my um my prayer journal that I did sold really quickly so I think I'm going to do another one and those little notepads would be great in it oh this is really cool so there's eight layers two of each two of each what are they oh I see there's different colors neat that's very cool okay now let's see what else is in here oh my gosh I mean there's like books and stuff oh my word Michelle oh my goodness this is like oh look at North Pole Express Christmas delivery that would be absolutely adorable in one of my Christmas journals and look at this I love the cover what's inside pretty paper I thought it would just be plain paper it's pretty paper that is very cute Michelle's ideas <laughs> I love it I love it are any of your ideas still in here I'll have to see leaves those are always useful now snippets of paper this is more like what I expected oh look at these don't those look pretty with that paper with that green paper these would definitely go with all that stuff that I said was kind of Tuscan colors that goes with that I'm kind of sorting these as I go oh cute stuff very cute little apples I love those I used to collect apples because I had a school that I named oh yum that's nice that I named um, John Chapman Christian Academy oh very nice how fun um, John Chapman is Johnny App Appleseed and that was I had a school for homeschoolers oh look at this see she's so smart I do this too any boxes that you get you guys just you know tear them down so that they're flat and then you can make cards and stuff out of them in fact I have a whole bunch right here and that I need to tear down I haven't torn down yet I have a whole bunch that I've torn down too that goes I think that might actually work with the Tuscan stuff oh this is eight o'clock wow neat now this would work great as a cover and you could cross stitch on it or I could cross stitch on it I love cross stitching so and I haven't done that for a long time Rick Rack I'm having so much fun Michelle thank you this is like so awesome there are such fun things in here oh look at this I have some stuff for a lavender journal that I want to do so this will go in that drawer I have um, you guys so here's one thing that I do when I'm organizing is I have a bunch of 10 drawer things with plastic drawers that are about this deep and about this wide they're bigger than 8 by 11 8 and a half by 11 and I put everything for a journal that I'm thinking of making in those and some journals that I've already started if I have a journal I'm working on it goes into one of those drawers Oh, this is cool. Is this jelly print? I have not ever felt jelly print, so I don't know what that's like. I'm kind of wondering if that's maybe what this is or if she just painted it. This is really neat. I like that. I just finished a blue and green <laughs> journal, but I'm sure I'll do more because I love blue and green. That's really pretty. See, and you know, this was from a border punch. Okay, so yeah, keep all of your stuff, you guys, because 
you can totally use this stuff. I mean, this would be right there. That's a great journal card, a nice big journal card. Or you could cut this and make it into a small belly band. Or, you know, there's like 500 million things. You could cut these and make them into smaller journal cards. And I would hang them this way and put the hole up here on top. There's so many things that you can do with it. Ooh, this is so cute. Definitely can use that in a junk journal. There's another Christmas bag. Very nice. Okay. Oh, my word. Okay, let's pull out some of these smaller things first. This is cool. Look at this. It's made from a self-made button. I don't know if Michelle did it or she got this off of something else. And all these little scraps of paper, or not paper, of fabric. Oh, like that little polka dot netting. That is very cool. So I can flatten this out, use it on a junk journal as it is, or I could use parts of it. There's lots of lots and lots of options. Okay, now, my goodness. Oops, and here's a little scrap of paper. That would be fun to just like glue someplace on the page. That's really cute. You don't throw away even those little tiny things. Or it could go in a Franken paper, but I see, oh my goodness. Oh, see, the, oh my word, this looks like a junk journal that she started working on and just didn't finish. Oh my, look at all these signatures, you guys. There's not a whole lot to do to this. You have to bind it, decorate the pages. That's it. Look at that. 1,000 gifts. Oh, that's a good book. Can't believe you tore that apart. Okay, so that's really good. That that book and Boss Camp is so much fun to read. It's She's just one of those really fascinating people. Biased and corded. Okay, cool. Cording, piping to go on the edge of something. That would be really nice. Could be on a cover, could be on the side of a page even. Okay, what have we got here? This looks like an unfinished journal. Look at all the butterflies. Oh my word. Okay, so this, this is just a journal. Okay, and she might have made it because of this, or she might have bought it that way, but it kind of looks like maybe she made it. I kind of think she did. And I might just use it like this <laughs> and just like, you know, add my own decorations as I'm going through, but I really need another journal. <laughs> and I was looking at my junk journals going, which one do I want? That I kind of like because then I can decorate it as I go. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then some bags. Oh, these are cool. You guys, these are so much fun. You can stick them through your printer. You can paste stuff on them. Um, they're great for napkins. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this, you know, I would fold and put in a in a signature like that. It looks like she dyed these. And I'm guessing avocado. Avocado dyes pink like this. That's beautiful. I've been wanting to do that. Oh, look at this. I can't believe you're giving these away, Michelle. These are so beautiful. Thank you so much. And then there's these. Okay, I don't want these to get squished. I'm going to stick them on my sewing machine for now. Okay. There's some more signatures in here, too. I've been gathering stuff for a sunflower journal. How fun. I've got all kinds of sunflower stuff, so that's excellent. Okay, what do we have here? This looks very cool. Okay, so we have, it looks like she put together a bunch of signatures cute with sewing stuff on the outsides of them or magazine ads and stuff from you know vintage stuff these are so sweet and look at this so she's sewn two pieces of paper together on each of these that's a lot of work i can't believe you're giving this away and not using it i will gladly use it thank you oh i love it these are beautiful oh my goodness Thank you so much. I mean, I feel like there's like, I feel like if I um, make a journal, I'm gonna have to say it was by me and by you, Michelle. <laughs> okay. And, oh, hem pages. That's one of my favorite things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I have such a hard time tearing hymnals apart. Oh, this is great. Yes, yes, yes. And see, with him, him pages, you guys, okay, so you can make anything out of these. I mean, you could use this on a cover. It wouldn't be the cover by itself, but you could use it on a cover. You could use it um, as some of your decoration or pockets or belly bands, or you could use it um, as uh, cards and tags. 
Um, there was something else I was just going to say. Oh, I have run these through my printer before and printed flowers over them, and it looks really pretty that way. You can stamp or stencil on them. You can um, coffee dye them or tea dye them or avocado dye them or whatever. Um, there's like so much you can do with music pages. And I just, I mean, print pages like this, those are really cool. And especially this because it's all, it's all old and brown, which is really, really neat. Um, and I like that it's got divinity. Very good. That was the perfect one to give to me. And, um, but to me, music pages, now I wouldn't want to use music pages throughout my entire book because then they stop being special. But music pages are just prettier because you've got all the notes and everything and you've got, you know, like these big spaces with the hidden number and everything. It's just, just beautiful. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I was totally the right person to give that to. Okay, and then these are a wind chest with the sideboard removed showing some of the interior instructions. Okay, oh, here's some music. Okay, so this must be an instrument. Well, it looks like a no, it doesn't really look like a piano. I don't know what that is. A wind chest. Oh, three manual pipe organ. Oh, oh my word. These are so totally cool. Oh my. <laughs> okay, and see these little scraps. Those are all going to get saved. These are too small, really, to go. I mean, I th they could go on Franken paper. I shouldn't say that they're too small. But, you know, they'll end up being sewn over. So it wouldn't really show. But just to... You know, put some glue stick on the back of this and stick it on a page someplace, like at the edge or something. It makes a really cool effect. And I'll try to remember to show you guys sometime. Okay, so we have here... So this is from that same thing about the organ and stuff. Wow, very cool. Um, let's see here. There we go. And these are from a dictionary, a large dictionary. I'm almost wondering. Yeah, look at it. It's even got the little the thumb stop thing. So these would be great for like a pocket if you use those little thumb holes for that. And here's a picture on this one of ermine. Very neat. Exceeding. That's in my life verse. He is able to do exceeding abundantly beyond all that you ask or even imagine. Mm. Journey. Oh, this is... Exercises, finger exercises. I may have had this book as a kid <laughs> when I was taking piano lessons. Now I use, um, oh, it's a big yellow book. Actually, it might be the same one. I can't remember who, who the one is by that I use now. This is volumes 150 to 152. Okay, more, I think this is avocado dye. Michelle, you'll have to tell me. I am so in awe. I am totally, totally in awe. These are beautiful. Thank you. I mean, I'm just like, I am seriously like overwhelmed and <laughs> I don't even know what to say except thank you. These are so very, very cool. Okay, so we have like coloring pieces kind of thing. Um, these would make great cards and stuff, obviously. Those are Christmas. Underpaid contracts. How fun! Remeasures from Kicks, UP from Kicks. See, now I don't know anything at all about that kind of stuff, so I don't know what that means. Bosses Beat, Number of Measurement. I wonder if that's measurements. I don't know. Oh, very cool. Um, nope, Measure Man's Name. So this is like, I don't know what that is. That's very cool. I'm gonna have to do some research and find out what that is. Okay. Oh, this is really pretty. Is this like, were you scanning fabric or something? And this is really cool too. These are beautiful. It looks like something that you were scanning. Very nice. There is just some really, really fun things. And see, now this is real cool too. I love this kind of thing. And these would be great pages or, yeah, I'd probably use them as pages, but you could use them as envelopes or, um, you know, cards or whatever. That's really pretty. So there's this. Michelle Gregory 2020. This is so cool. I want to know what exactly these are. 
how very, very cool. Wow, Michelle, I have to say, this was so much, seeing all these little scraps, I'm going to keep all of those too, because those are all really cool to put on pages. Um, I have to say, I am absolutely, positively blown away, these things I want to put on top in the box. I am, like, ecstatic, obviously. Oh, there's still more. <laughs> I'm ecstatic, but also just really blown away. All my love. Okay, so this was in the envelope with the card. Isn't that cute? So it's a little, um, what do you call these? I don't remember. Snippet. It's a snippet. And I love the way that you stamped all my love on that. That's really cool. I like that. And then this is pretty. That can go in my one of my Tuscan colored journals. Okay, now this is cool. Oh, it's a, it's a mug. <laughs> that is so cool. Very cute. I don't want to take that apart. I mean, because it's like you can use all these little pieces of fabric here. But it's so adorable. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to take that apart or not. Maybe that's why she sent it to me, because she couldn't take it apart. And this is some pretty paper, too. I think this must have been from like a 6x6 six six book or something. That's definitely going in one of my Tuscan colored things. Michelle, oh my word, you totally blew me away. This is really, really, really cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun with this. Um, I really debated even commenting and putting myself in for this because I have so much stuff. And I want to say, you have... Okay, so Michelle did this because she cleaned out her craft room. And you've really inspired me because my craft room is really really awful and i'm thinking a, a friend of mine that stayed with me for four and a half months he was addicted to videos of this guy cleaning out his garage and i thought you know what i should like record myself cleaning out my craft room and talk about whatever you know talk about the things that i'm going through or talk about my personal life or whatever but it's like that would be kind of fun to watch somebody cleaning out their craft room. I know that sounds probably really boring to most people, but to crafters, probably not. But um, I would, f I think I'd be more likely to do it because I would feel like people are sitting there with me while I'm doing it. And I'm not just like wasting time by myself cleaning my craft room. Anyway, you have totally inspired me and you have totally blown me away with your generosity. I love all of this stuff. It's all going to get used. And um, I might even just keep it in that box so I know what's from you because I, I've noticed that when I put when I sort things from other people from happy mail and stuff into the drawers with my um, with my things that I'm working on that I forget who they're from and I don't like that I want to be able to say who it's from um, but on the other hand it might not get used if it doesn't get sorted <laughs> I don't know we'll see I'll figure out something anyway thank you thank you thank you so much I love you all love you Michelle and um, uh, someday we've got to meet up. Someday we've got to meet up. I have to drive out to my parents in New Mexico and maybe you can drive down to wherever I am on 40 or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how far that is from you. So anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.